Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in the beautiful southern Thailand province of Panga. And from Khao Lak, we drove, it was about a 30 minute drive to come to a place called Takua Pa, which we specifically came here to eat soup hangua, which is oxtail soup. Um, and so we just arrived to the restaurant. We're gonna eat oxtail soup. I know they're also famous for their uh, goat curry and for their other varieties of kao gang, rice and curries. Uh, so we're gonna see what they have today. We're gonna, yeah, especially eat. I cannot wait to share with you the oxtail soup. And we just arrived to the restaurant. We just arrived. The restaurant is called Malita. And here, yeah, right here it's in big. It says soup hangua, which is their specialty, which is oxtail soup. And this is the, the restaurant is right here. It's on the, the side of the road. And then it's kind of just tucked back here into the into their almost like I think it's their property their home uh, but again we are about 30 minutes away from Khao Lak. Khao Lak is the a major destination a major beach destination this is about a 30 minute drive away uh, in a place called Tap Takua Pa. We met up with Kun Malita and she is now uh, boiling this is the อันนี้มันคืออะไรครับดีมันนะคะชอบมันดีนดีนหัวครับใช่ใช่ดีนหัวอันนี้คือมันเป็นอะไรล่ะอ๋อเปลือยแล้วใช่แต่อันนี้
Uh, that's got to simmer down for a little while, and then she said later, then she'll add in the the already chopped up goat parts. But one of the interesting things is that, yeah, this is not the curry, this is not the, the goat curry that we'll be eating today because she makes it in the afternoon and then she serves it the next day. She says it's much better because it comes together, the flavors come together, the flavors mingle, it becomes more uh, rich and thick, probably the goat fat oils and the coconut milk also like just comes together with the flavor. Um, so it's much more rich and flavorful the next day. So this is, this will be tomorrow's curry, whereas we're gonna be eating today the curry that she made yesterday. ปล่อยให้เดือดให้แห้งเป็นชั่วโมงชั่วโมงเป็นชั่วโมงโอเคคือให้มันเปื่อยให้เนื้อมันยุ่ยเข้าเครื่องเกง Ah, okay, okay, got it. It's gonna boil for at least one hour, um, and then it's gonna again settle and sit overnight to let those flavors mingle. And then she said she's gonna add the thick, the the coconut cream, the huagati, the top of the 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 first squeeze of the coconut. That's the thickest. That's the richest. That's like straight coconut butter. Uh, coconut cream, she's gonna add that so that it enriches it also and then add some salt and some other like seasonings to to taste tomorrow before it's served or today that's already gonna be served but that was made yesterday. The aroma of that curry is too much and the soup, I cannot wait any longer. Let's start ordering and to order you kind of just go in the front you can Take a peek in the pots of curries if you like, or she could just explain to you what you have, and they have a glass cabinet of different foods as well. You just choose what you want. Not only do they have the soup hangwa, but they also have soup tin, which is the feet cow hoof, cow hoof soup, as well as soup nua tit kaduk. Okay, uh, beef like bones soup. So all three. And then hangwa, my god. Hangwa. It's all the same, actually, exact same soup. It's just she designates which piece of meat you get. So one bowl, I'm getting the hangwa, which is the oxtail. The other is the bones, but it's also like some bones, but also some of the rib parts. And then the other one is going to be the um, the the hoof, the foot. But it smells already so good. Thin. It's like a Chinese celery and green onions.
กงส้มเกงส้มปลาหมอปลาหมอใส่มะม่วงใส่ใส่ลูกมะม่วงด้วยใส่มะม่วงด้วยค่ะเดี๋ยวเจอมะม่วงเปล่าไหมครับใช่เปรี้ยวๆใช่ไหมครับใช่ We gotta eat ทำมาแล้วกับคุณมากครับโอ้ว้าว Absolutely spectacular three different types of beef soup but all the same actually just different parts of the ox and then the different curries and then one of the things I love about Southern Thailand is you're always served a plate of vegetables and that's like a I mean, do you even know what this vegetable is? This is like a little fruit. It looks like a little very unripe fruit. Um, yeah, we'll try that after the soup. But Ying is telling me I have to immediately begin with the the oxtail soup before the for the fat, the delicious fat, the flavor starts to sort of harden. You gotta eat it fast while it's hot. Yeah, this one is the oxtail, and you can just see that broth, the milkiness of the the skin, and all of that like the gloppy. Goopy goodness of the skin of the fat. It's almost yeah. The broth is almost milky, and then mixed with the shallots, with the onions, with the um, chilies, with the tomatoes. Well, let's get it just a good. Let's just get a a good first bite. Oh, and you can smell the like meatiness of it. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. And again, what? For me, what sets apart Thai oxtail soup, Thai beef soup, is the way that lime juice is squeezed at the bottom of the bowl, so that you get the sourness, you get the refreshingness, and then the combination of the the soup plus the raw fresh chilies that are so fragrant, plus the fried shallots and the fried garlic, plus just that freshness of the Chinese celery and the the green onions, and the richness. Of how that oxtail has just been boiled, simmered down with the fat, the gelatin. That is the soup with texture. Oh well. I think next I'll try the tail. Oh, oh, it just falls off. <laughs> oh, it's so tender. It's just a blob, a blob. Maybe this has to go on my rice. It'll just kind of flop around. That's there's meat. There's I mean the best thing about oxtail are the textures. And I'll scoop on some of these chilies as well. Oh. And this has to be eaten with rice. But yeah, the different gelatiny qualities, the mixed in with meat, but then just making everything so tender, so fatty, so delicious. I think I had a little like a little like gelatin cap. There's like a cap on the. Mm. Wow, that is sensationally delicious. I believe this one is the the tin. Shall I come? I need tin wa. This is uh the cow hoof. This is just like all skin and gelatiny bits. That looks like a good piece. Oh wow! It's spicy. <laughs> Now that is what you call gelatinous. It just like like oozes. <laughs> you can probably like you know like like tofu or something when you can put your teeth together and just like press it through your teeth. You can do that. And then the final one is the, the ribs and the meat. That's like an entire rib chunk there. Oh, again, it's just going to be ultra falling apart tender. Just. Incredible flavor, incredible tenderness, incredible just entire composition. Mm. Mm. The thickness of that soup broth. Bakem, yam bakem. This one is a salted fish, which has then been deep fried, and then kind of made into a salad with shallots and chilies, and then you squeeze lime juice on it. Maybe squeeze on a little more lemon juice. No, it's okay, huh? Mm. Awesome. Salty, but that umami from the fish, the preserved fish. You want to make sure not to take too huge of a bite of that fish because it's very salty. Yeah. You have to, and you have to eat every single bite with rice so that it kind of 
like waters down the, the saltiness along with rice. It's a harmony. I can't wait to try the gang pat, which is the goat curry. Just look at the richness, the thickness of that curry. Okay, onto my rice. Oh, it just kind of slid. Oh, that smells incredible. Their, their goat curry is incredible. It's like almost a roasted coconut flavor to it. The coriander seed. Oh, it's just like a perfect harmony. Not overwhelmingly powerful in the spice, but just like soothing, harmonious, and ultra rich and meaty. Oh yeah, that feels like a, a bit of a, a gelatinous piece of goat skin. The flavor and the richness of that. Anyone could like that. ลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโคลูกโ
and maybe just a little bit of rejuicing for good measure. Oh, yes. Whoa. Everything is good here. And you would not want to miss the, especially the goat curry. Masaman is amazing. But you cannot come here and miss the beef soup. The oxtail soup. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just walked over and gave us a, a bowl full of lukunyang, which are uh, jenko beans, one of my one of my favorite, favorite things. They're like giant steamed beans. Um, Dip in the number. Oh, I need a lot more. It's like it is. It is a young one, so they're almost like milky. A unique taste. Nothing like them. Nothing like them. Janko is janko, and they are just. I love that crunch. I love that texture. I love that milkiness, the the chalkiness, and the dryness of it as well. Mm. It's like a little oxtail drumstick. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a meal. That was incredible food. So rich, so, so much flavor. I need to, I hope this fence can hold me in the back here. The perspiration. Wow, what a meal. Our total bill came to, how much, Ying? How much was the bill? 500, 500 baht. And we also had some drinks. That's a really good price for the amount of food we had, the amount of meat we had. Three bowls of soup, the fish, the masaman curry, and the gang pad, the, the goat curry. Kabun maghab, aloy maghab, kabun maghab. Rolling out of Malita restaurant. That was a spectacular meal. She is so friendly, she's so nice, she's so cool, and her food, Okay, you have to, I mean, you cannot come here and miss the oxtail soup or the different beef cow ox soups. But her other curries, the curried uh, goat is spectacular. And then just her like welcoming personality, Kun Malida, she's a special person, she's an amazing cook, she's so cool. Um, I can guarantee you whenever I come back to Panga, I will be heading straight. For Malita. So I want to say a big thank you for watching this video. I'll have the information in the description box below you can check out. Uh, please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, you can click the subscribe button so that you immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Panga in Thailand. <sighs> what a meal. And I will see you on the next video.